there it is. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. That is crazy. That one hit hard. Four. What is up, guys? Welcome back to another episode. Today, we're going to be doing a little bit different. We're going to uh, dabble, li uh, dabble a little bit with the uh, helicopters. And I have the Gazelle. And let me tell you, this thing is super fun. Super, super, super fun. We're going to do a cold start. We're going to mess around a little bit. And later, we'll talk about the different variants. So the one that we have right now is the Lima version, which carries some rockets, only eight, and a 20 millimeter gun on the side. That's all you get. Doors, we can close them, but what I like to do is tell the ground crew to take them off. Copy. Copy that. All right. Let's take a look at our arming. So combat mix, you got three times high explosives and one time arm piercing. I like just to armor piercing. That's it. It's what I like, it's what I lo load out with, stick into it. What you can do is IR deflector, which is this one right here. It throws all the heat all the way up Then you got sand filter which is here to help out the engine on sandy places. I don't know if it works or not, but we'll leave it on. And as far as rockets, we have all these options. So I'm going to put it on heat. Uh, got that and request rearming. Request rearming. Perfect. Copy. You can have a copilot here on the Lima version. Really doesn't do much just for enjoying the show. So let's start off with battery on alt uh, alternator yep and generator if i'm not mistaken yep we're gonna do pump pumping fuel pump and then let's hit the clock right here you gotta wait 20 seconds before you can uh press the starter we're gonna release the rotator brake lever rearming complete all the way up then while that usually but around that time we're good i'm gonna hit up you're gonna see it the long needle starts building up usually it stops around 25 and then i'll show you what we do next we're gonna turn on our radar with this one right here put it in gm you can turn on your radios by just hitting tr let me see let me switch to the other side we can read it a little bit better so traffic and turn it there and then we'll go back to seat one see how it stops around there now i already have it bound but what you do is you move this lever which is our fuel flow lever you gotta run it slow you see the small needle i try and put it to here at first so that you get the rotor spinning and they need to align do not lift the fuel more until after this red until they align and you can stop the clock by just hitting this and reset we're gonna let this go And like I said, I have it uh, bounded to something else. So we're just going to lift it up. See how they're together. We leave them together as much as possible. Until it's all the way up. Now you got both levers up. Rotor spinning. Perfect. Now, this one is for the console lights. I like to turn that on. Right here, you're going to click with the left mouse and scroll wheel down 
So you get to the center. Right, align it. You're gonna click and hold your left mouse button until it stops moving. We still have some lights on, right? So we're gonna turn our pedo. We're gonna turn armament on. Trim on. And this is magnetic brake. Yep, magnetic brake on. And these are your autopilot uh, switches. So we're gonna yaw on, roll on, pitch on, and autopilot on, right? To do an auto hover, I've learned that you switch this to DOP. You get these two lines and make sure to get this button bounded. And I'll tell you which one it is. Auto hover toggle. It can, uh, you can use Q, but I put it to my Jotas. And when you have these two white lines aligned, you press that auto hover toggle and it should auto hover. Now, just because we put turned on an armament doesn't mean that it's armed that we can use it we got to go here put it in m see we have eight rockets and 240 rounds then you got open these and when you're using rockets it's one at a time you see the green right here right now if you have both of them you can't use them you have to turn one off and then you can do ripple or single and then your countermeasures are this Turn it on right here, vector echo, and then single or sequence. I like sequence because it hits four in one shot. So everything looks good. Oh, and when using, make sure to uncover the flare dispenser launch button. If not, it will not launch. So we got that uncovered. We can start taking off. Oh shit. Before we do that, let's adjust our throttle. And this one is a simple takeoff. There it is. Just like that. We're in the air. And remember what I told you about the auto hover? Let's do this. You see how they are aligned right now? Press the auto hover. And let's see, hold on. Can't be shifting. The holding, yeah, it, it gives me some trouble a lot. Come on. There you go. And now it's hovering. You can have your hands away from the controls because the, ho the hover takes care of everything else. Now, just remember where your hands were at when you take off the hover. Because if not, your helicopter is going to go crazy places. Now, I love this helicopter. I love this helicopter. Not a lot of people talk about it. It's like, if you look at videos, it's like two years ago, three years ago. But this thing is fast. Slow, but feels fast. It can be outrun by the hinds and hips. Yes. But do a couple things and you can you can keep up a little bit and we have our practice hind right here I don't know if I mentioned if you're coming to a hind look at the turn rate and that beep 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 is our rotors so look at it right here the rpms they go a little bit too much but 
this helicopter you can do a lot. And as far as like going through, let me just show you. Obviously, if you go too fast, your chopper's gonna start turning <laughs> the other way. But if you need to stop or slow down, look at how fast you can turn. And then you just keep on going to the other side. Now, this is our little uh, reticle. You gotta turn either guns on or rockets. And the reticle is gonna be the same, so. Just make sure you have one on. Remember that, guys. One needs to be on at a time. <clears throat> Alright, so. If you're... I've been using this a lot in the Cold War server. And going against Heinz was difficult until I found out which ammo to use against them. He's already smoking. Trying to hold it. Can't. Where are we at? Come on. Oh, shit. oh my god that is crazy that one hit hard or who I hope they weren't there whoever was it owns that house ah oh my god it's gonna be a rude awakening alrighty so next on our list rockets turn our rockets on it'll go a little bit low This helicopter feels fast. Granted, when you look at the speed, this is in kilometers per hour. And once you hit that red line, better watch out. There we go. Yep. Too much RPM. And you can really skim the floor. Here we 
we go. Oh, we already got that tank shooting at us. Let's see how we can avoid. Just watch out because he's going to be firing. Yep. Oh. Ah. We still got guns on. We got to turn the guns off. See what happens. Let's do a quick stop. There we go. Direct hit. And, but it's still alive and kicking. Oh. They can kill your co pilot. Or they can just kill your pilot. And then if it's the pilot that they kill. Whoa, 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 whoa. See how nimble this thing is? You really got to get direct hits. If not, really doesn't do much. Snap! Whoop! Let's <laughs> get it! <laughs> How many rockets we have left? None. Let's see if maybe the guns do something. Oh my god, this thing's still alive. Dive, dive, dive. Whoa, 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 whoa. And let's... Oh, shit! <laughs> uh, too close to the trees. He's unfazed. Oh my god. Alrighty, well. That's a uh, radar. That was a quick one. I hope you enjoyed it. Ooh, there he goes. <laughs> The helicopter can, can hold its own. As long as you take care of it. You don't slam it against the ground, right? But Let's see. We can do a better landing. Let's see. And... There we go. We got a good landing there. So, that's the Gazelle. Real quick, the Lima version. We still got three more versions to choose from. Uh, I hope you liked it. Hit that like, hit that sub, and I'll catch you in the air next time. Peace.